and you will hear of wars and rumors of wars. See that you are not troubled, for all these things must come to pass, but the end is not yet. For nation will rise against nation, and kingdom against kingdom. And there will be famines, pestilences, and earthquakes in various places. All these are the beginning of sorrows. And power was given to them over a fourth of the earth to kill with sword, with hunger, with death, and by the beasts of the earth. For the time has come for judgment to begin at the house of God, and if it begins with us first, what will be the end of those who do not obey the gospel of God? Uh, being honest in a way that all the gay bishops before me were not honest, um, and, and standing up for who I am, which is a child of God who happens to be gay. Let both grow together until the harvest, and at the time of harvest I will say to the reapers, First gather together the tares, and bind them in bundles to burn them, but gather the wheat into my barn. But the people who know their God shall be strong and carry out great exploits, and those of the people who understand shall instruct many. It's a, a massive, uh, massive strength for for uh, uh, every health system because we see every day 50 to 60 patients who come to our emergency department of pneumonia, and most of them are so severe they uh, they need a very high FiO2 of oxygen, and so it's and people are beginning to die from hunger and thirst. Kuya Nawit's father withered away last month. Now her mother might starve too. The only thing I can do is to take her to get some help, to wait here until she dies. I am already feeling the sense of losing a parent. In some places it hasn't rained in years. Lakes are drying up, crops are failing. A bone-dry desert that is home to some of Kenya's most traditional people. The Turkana still scar their skin and wear feathers in their hair. They survive in this unforgiving landscape by herding animals. Even in a good year, with good rain, it's a hard-fought existence. Now, malnutrition rates are reaching alarming levels. One woman says all her animals recently died. She's never seen such a drought in her life. She walked 15 miles to get to this makeshift camp to wait for food from World Vision, one of the few aid organizations working out here. At another distribution site, two women collapsed right in front of us. And those of the people who understand shall instruct many, yet for many days they shall fall by sword and flame, by captivity and plundering.
Now when they fall, they shall be aided with a little help, but many shall join with them by intrigue. And they overcame him by the blood of the Lamb and by the word of their testimony, and they did not love their lives to the death.